Here I'm going to be showing you how to make a barrel on some wooden planks, just a basic uh, kind of uh, build but it looks really 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 nice so let's get straight into it. Get started. So I'm going to be getting you to do shift A, add in a mesh, add in a cylinder of course and then just scale that upwards. Now that is your basic shape but we want to create that into a barrel so what we need to do is then go into tab mode, go on control R and press uh, um, left click twice and now you should press S now it should expand it like that that is a basic shape of a barrel now you need to do control R and on you need to um, obviously put your cursor right here and you need to just scroll t one more time on your scroll wheel and now that should create something like that and do the same here and now go on face select this one here and now click on one of these faces in this little ring thing go on shift and then alt I think it is yep yeah, shift alt and then do that on the same here and then go into this mode right here and click on extrude along normals extrude that outwards and there you go you have your basic barrel shape now what you want to do is going to modifiers, add modifier, bevel modifier. This just makes it so much better. And if you want to, you can change that to 0 0.01, which does actually make it a lot better. And then shade auto smooth. Let's see how that looks. Oh, I guess that looks better. Let's just make it that way. Yeah. Now we need to make the opening of the barrel. So we need to go into tab mode, go into face select, click on this face, and click on this face. We have to press shift so you can click on, click on both faces. So it just doesn't switch to one. And while you're doing that, press I and it should create a face. Now go on to extrude along normals and just extrude along that right there. Now you have your basic barrel shape. Now you want to create your lid. So what we want to do is go into tab mode. This is kind of where it gets, tr gets tricky, but you need to click on one of the faces here, right click and go on separate and separate by selection now it should separate the top bit of that barrel now go on right click set origin origin to geometry and now that is not part of your barrel so it's a lid so go on to tab press press on a press on e to extrude upwards bring your mouse up and there you go you have your basic basic lid now you have your basic lid you want to do shift uh, right click and then duplicate objects or you can do shift D then you want to press S to scale G and then Z to move upwards then you want to do G and then X and then you have your little uh, what's it called opening kind of thing now that is the basic barrel done right there so now you need to create your planks so shift A bring in a cube S scale that G and then Z now you can see you've got like a little cube thing here and then you just need to compress it down just to make it look like a little cylinder kind of type thing resembling obviously a wooden plank but yeah and then G and then Z to move it up look at that that's your first plank uh, shift D or you can just duplicate object like I've done right click and then click on duplicate object Oh, I don't know what I've done there. Just leave that there. Okay um, Yeah, and just duplicate that across the board basically Now you can see you've got your little like Wooden layout, but you need them all to be connected. So what you're going to do is click on the middle one right here duplicate object go on rotation and just rotate that that way around here here ish and then go on this scale mode or this little mode here and then just compress it down so it doesn't show and just scale it outwards like that i hope this is making sense but yeah and just make it so it's like so and then just duplicate it along there so now you just can see it's all fit together now you can duplicate this lid 
press on this lid and press on this little lid that we made earlier you have to just press shift if you want to select two objects and then right click du duplicate objects g and then x oh no g and then uh y and then g and then z and you just want to make it right on top of that wooden floorboard we want it to look just like this right here so now we need to create these like rock things what we want to do for that is oh we have to move this lid don't we so shift shift and hold on to both of these rotate go on the rotate button and rotate just like so just so and then g and uh, that just move it like so it shows it like that and then go on shift and a cube and i don't know where that's cubes okay your cube shouldn't go there I don't know why my cube's gone there, but as soon as you've got your cube, just go and add modifier, add subdivision surface modifier, and just S to scale, and just try fitting it into this barrel. Just see, see if you can get that like shape. Yeah. Just see if you can try getting that shape, like I have right here. Look at that. That is perfect. Now you've got your open barrel and now we want to create some dense indents in the wooden planks because it doesn't look natural right now so what we need to do is click on one of the wooden planks Control r twice and then boom press on a left click and then left click again go on this face select and just delete this uh just just select on these two faces and go on right click and then delete faces we do not want these faces here and now you should have this opening thing here but now what we want to do is close these two off so what we do is tab and then click on this vertex select click on this and then press F and then if you can do the same on that side F and there you go and then maybe you could just like click on those two and then G and then X move it across like so and then uh, you can maybe do the same here, G, uh, click on both these and then G and X, perfect, you've got your little like cut open thing and you've got like, your little gems or whatever you want to call it, now you want to click on this viewport shading, uh, you want to click on shift A, uh, actually what you want to do first is control, uh, uh, just press A, G and then Z, or no, G and then Z, yeah, G and then Z to move everything upwards so it's not like underneath that. You don't have to do this, but I just prefer it. And then Shift A, add your light area. Mm, I don't know why mine's there. Just try to like relocate okay if that's happened to you. Make your power like 100 or something. Uh, what kind of light do I have right here? Okay, yeah, I think that's perfect. Just mess around with the lighting to be honest. I don't really know what to do with the lighting, but yes, we can do it right now. Oh, uh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah no, we should settings as well. Uh, let's just carry on coloring this in. That's perfect. That's like a little barrel area kind of going to your render engine thing. Go down to color map. That's like a little barrel area kind of going to your render engine thing. Go down to color management. Go down to look. Turn that into high contrast and perfect. Or maybe. Maybe because this shade is smooth. Yeah. Anyway, that's literally the end of the trip. You enjoyed this barrel creation thing. But yeah, uh, thank you for watching and peace out. Oh yeah, make sure to subscribe. It helps out so much because then it encourages me to push out new content. Thank you so much.